Litchfield is a small farming town in the middle of the Waikato region and the site of the largest cheese factory in the southern hemisphere. Each week, the factory produces enough cheese to cover three rugby fields and is one reason why New Zealand is the world's fifth largest cheese exporter. The Litchfield factory is owned by New Zealand's biggest company, Fonterra, which is responsible for a third of international dairy trade. Dairy farming has been a major industry in New Zealand for over a hundred years. But during the 19th century, most farmers kept just a few cows, only producing enough butter and milk for their own use or to barter with others. But the advent of refrigeration in the 1880s meant butter could be exported, and small dairy factories run by entrepreneurs began to appear. By 1911, there were over 330 dairy factories in New Zealand. Initially, farmers delivered their milk to dairy factories in metal cans on the back of horse-drawn carts. Cheese factories used whole milk, but butter factories only wanted the cream, so they separated the milk and sent the skim milk home with the farmer to be fed to the pigs. The cream separator, invented in 1877, enabled farmers to separate cream from the milk, which meant that only about a tenth of the volume of milk had to be transported to the factory. Fonterra, who owns the Litchfield factory, is a cooperative company owned by over 11,000 dairy farmers. Dairy cooperatives were first formed in the 1890s, partly because new technology cost more than individual farmers could afford, but also because they wanted a share in the profits of production. By 1917, farmer cooperatives owned about 80% of the country's dairy factories. The number of dairy factories fell throughout the 20th century to just 43 in 1990. However, because efficiency and transport improved, total output increased. After the dairy industry was deregulated in 2001, there were only three dairy cooperatives in the entire country. The largest was Fonterra, which in 2007 processed about 95% of the country's milk. The transportation of milk to factories and dairy products to markets was critical to the industry's expansion. As the century progressed, dairy factories began to pick up milk and butter from farms. From the early 1950s, milk tankers were used. Tankers collected whole milk, not just cream, as factories produced a variety of products including milk powders and protein products, as well as butter and cheese. The cost of collecting milk fell as tankers got bigger, and computerisation meant companies could work out the best routes for collecting milk. From the mid-1950s, refrigerated storage facilities on farms were built, meaning milk did not have to be collected every day. The formation of Fonterra in 2001 resulted in one national processing and marketing cooperative. Fonterra collects more than 13 billion litres of milk a year and manufactures and markets nearly 2 million tonnes of product. It has around 20,000 staff in 40 countries, with over half of its staff working outside New Zealand.